Hello, this is BNB News reporting live from Auburn Hills, Michigan at the Palace of Auburn Hills for the National Championship of Cock Fights, known as the NCCF. We're here with Billy Big Cock's Good and trying to figure out what secret behind cockfighting really is. Billy, can you enlighten the viewers of how you did today for those that missed the broadcast? Tell that cock he can wait a goddamn minute. Well, what's that, Brad? I'm sorry. Billy, can you enlighten the viewers of how you did today for those that missed the broadcast? I just want to say that I did the best I could possibly do. There's not one cock on this earth that could stand in my way. I got the biggest, girthiest cock around, and I annihilated it. I won tenfold. I see, I see. And, uh... What was the gluten substance that you lathered up your cock with before the fight called? That's just, you know, that that's just a little lube. Um, it, it's it's good to uh, keep your cock slippery because when it comes in contact with other cocks, it actually uh, it helps because it deflects attacks. Now you have you can have a big black cock against a small white cock. If that big black cock doesn't have any lubricant on it, and the white cock does. The white cock's going to win. And the reason for that is, is deflection. Brad. Thank you, Billy, for that. And um, is there any special diet that we need to keep in mind in case we, too, would like to beat some cocks? Uh, yes, Brad. Um, it's very important. Very important that you, you feed your cock a lot of protein. Okay? It gets your cock big. It gets it strong. It gets it ready for action. Also, Brad, I would like to inform the audience that it's a good idea to feed your cock carbohydrates because what that will in turn do is give it energy throughout the day to to bang some cock out. Thank you for that. That's uh, very uh, educational. Uh, is you, there Brad. is there a training schedule we need to adhere to in order to get our cocks big and strong like the big black cocks in the NCCF magazine? Yes, there is, Brad. You're not going to get anywhere in life without some hard work and some dedication. I wake up at 6 a.m. every morning. I warm my cock up. I, I get my cock in the shower. I clean it up. I make sure it's nice, fresh, and ready for the day to start ahead. Now, what this uh, leads to is, uh, you know, two hours of steady exercise, um, you know, making sure that he eats the right food throughout the day during his exercise, and to eat the right carbohydrates to keep him energized so that he can get a good swell on during his workouts. I I, I do agree. Always want to keep a cock clean. Yes, um sir. is there any nerves in a cock when it comes when it gets ready to stick it to another cock? I only ask because of the cocks throwing up earlier. Y- yeah, Brad, uh you know my cock gets a little nervous sometimes. Um you know there's some big cocks out there. And, you know, my cock, it, it's not the biggest one out there, but it is definitely, definitely talented. I got one of the most talented cocks, almost like Muhammad Ali. He he moves like a butterfly, but he stings like a bee, okay? And my cock definitely stings like a bee. It doesn't move like a butterfly, though. It moves more like a, uh, like a night crawler or a, a snake. That's a, that's a great analogy. Other than that, is there anything to use to improve the cock's performance, like the cock pumps I've seen on TV? Oh, oh yes, the uh, the cock pumps. Um, yes, there's uh, uh, Cockamus Pumpamus was uh one of the uh, uh leaders in uh the you know the the NCCF uh for the national cock fighting. He actually uh, came up with the idea of vasodilation for the for the cock pumps, and what it does is uh. Cockamus Pumpamus Maximus, uh, he actually figured out a way to vasodilate the cock's vascular system. This, in turn, opens up their vascularity, allowing more blood to flow through, giving it a better pump, and in turn, giving it better workouts, better results, and better in action. Thank you, Billy. I do agree with that. It was a very, very strong lecture. Thank you, Brad. What was the uh what was that rubber latex object on your cock's head before that battle? What what was that? I just couldn't get that off my head. Oh, that's just the um Trojan actually invents uh under armor for uh the cock to wear. Um this actually what it does is 
it helps it stay you know lean cut um it's good to be more aerodynamic in battle um and what happens is when you put the the glutinous uh substance that you were talking about earlier the lube uh you put that actually on top of the latex itself because it is slippier slipperier than the cock's you know natural surrounding on its body now also in turn this actually protects the cock from getting any illnesses from any other cocks because my cock does beat some cocks asses it i mean it does pulverize some cocks so I, I like to keep it nice and covered up because i don't want it to get sick yeah i definitely agree i wouldn't want to throw my cock in the ring with a definitely sick not sick sick or just falling off or something i don't know what that is definitely but anyways last final question what is your motivations around and throughout a cock fight and how do you approach an angry mean black cock you know what motivates me the most is when you just see the the sweat dripping down the back of that cock's ass. It just, you know, you, you look at that and you're like, damn, that cock is ready. That cock is ready. I'm going to get ready too for this cock. So once both cocks are ready, that's actually a really motivating factor because we both like the same thing. And two cock fights, we're both doing what we love. It, it it's very important that you love what you do too, Brad. That's very important. Also, um, you know, throughout a cock fight, uh, you know, how do I approach a cock? You know, I like to take it a little slow, especially if it's an angry cock. If you got an angry cock, you could definitely gotta think about how you're gonna take it. Because angry cocks can be slippery, you know, they they tend to be really big if they're angry too. And it it's the it's bad news for your cock if you got a bigger cock that beats your cock up. All right, thank you for that. That was uh, Billy Gooden with that uh, little you. lesson that he just taught us about how he preps his cock for thank a big you, fight. No, I'm gonna, thank you. What? I'm going to beat that cock's ass. Are you kidding me? Anyway, oh, no. I'm Brad from BNB News. Stay tuned for the after report. And uh, gingers have souls. <laughs>